Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another live session with The Hype Magazine. I'm your editor-in-chief, Jerry Doby, and today I have the legend, the man who created so much problem in other folks' families with that <laughs> ride my pony. He created a whole position just for us, his own version of the common shooter, the man, the one and only, but you also know him for Pony and Differences, one of the two of the big hits that he had, uh, the one and only Genuine. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, my brother. Season, season vet. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, really appreciate you taking the time with us this morning, man. Exciting career. Uh, I know we're here to talk about your your participation in, you know, the Ultimate Magicians show, Chris Angel's Magic with the Stars. You yes. were paired up with Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees. Yes, and, yes. Uh, Good brother. Amazing show. I love the Fear Box. You know what I mean? Oh, you love it. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, you love it. Okay. I love it. I yeah. love it. That was yeah. pretty dope. That was pretty dope. But I look, how did you come to be a part of, of this show with the amazing uh, Chris Angel? Well, you know, since I was a kid, I've always liked magic and I've always tried, you know, I was uh, I wasn't good at it, but you know, I just liked <laughs> I like magic. I love you know, the little kits that they would have and you can learn them and all that kind of stuff. So I was always um, uh, 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 attracted, I guess you could say, to Magic and Chris Angel. I think I've seen him now about four times. And the, and the last time that I saw him, I brought my kids out to see him. Okay. And, you know, I'm I'm very laid back. I, I don't try to play the genuine card or nothing like that. I'm just there. I just want to see the show or whatever. So this time they let him know um, that I was there and he pretty much came out, you know, and, and let us meet him and he took a liking to me. I took a liking to him. And so we just stayed in contact, followed each other and all that. And so I, I the opportunity came up and he called me at first. I said, no, because, um, you know, I was, I was, I was, I had to, I had something that I was doing, and, but I, and I didn't know if I could cancel it, but I really wanted to do it, you know. So I said, give me a little bit of time and see if I can, you know, reschedule. And so it all worked out. He asked me, you know, what are some of my fears? I said, I don't like snakes. I don't like, you know, being underwater a long time. I don't like, you know, uh, uh, heights too much. And, but when I said the uh, water thing, he said, would you be, uh, you know, against it? And I've said, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I said, <laughs> you know, I, I would love to conquer that fear, but I can't hold my breath no more than 15 seconds. You know wow. what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, you know, I, I, so just by that alone, I started getting fearful. But because it was a show about um, conquering your fears, I said, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this. Cause I'm going to be jumping out of a plane soon. So, mm -hmm. um, um, so I had to really conquer, conquer that fear. And so that was the opportunity for, for me to do so. Okay. And so it takes a lot of intestinal fortitude. Courage people is having a fear and stepping out and doing a thing anyway. And so it took a lot of intestinal fortitude and courage for you to take this on. So shout out to you. Thank uh, you. For for doing that. Um you. so every, it's been all over the social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um yeah. you, know, you had a challenge um yeah. when it came to the to the water box. Um yeah. do you want to discuss what happened and well I, I I don't think they want me to give it away too much. It was just a situation where um you know, uh, I, I I pushed it too far. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get. I guess you could say that. I tried to. I tried to push it too far, and things went a little left. And um, you know, I still once I once I'm into something though, I'm like once I sign on to do it, I'm all in. I'm you all in. I'm like, even if I get beat. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, you know, it's going to, it's going to take a lot for me not to do it. And so, you know, it was just one of those situations where I pushed myself a little bit too far. Luckily, luckily, uh, you know, they were there and, um, and, uh, 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 you know, it, it worked out, 
It and we're here to be able to talk to you. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, shout out to them for the quick reactions. Uh, yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. man. And, and and you know, for me, uh, taking taking that on, um, I I also knew that you know they were there. You know what I'm saying? So I I was like, look, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take take it on. If something go wrong, get me out of this box. But it was so uncomfortable for me because I'm tall. Ah. You know, I'm 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 six one, so it was very uncomfortable for me. I, I was trying to get comfortable and all that. Um, uh, 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 uh my uh, my uh, 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 Jeff, uh, Jeff uh, from ninety eight. He was he's a little shorter than I, okay. and then, so he was able to maneuver. And all right, that. right, right. So it, it 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 took me a little getting used to so i had to try to do it as many times as i can as i could so um but it's you know um it's something that i'm glad i actually uh conquered and 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 and, and still went on and, and and gave it a try because that's what life is about man um just just getting out here doing what you need to do in order for you to to succeed and you shouldn't be scared of of too many things, man. Because scared, being being scared can hold hold you back from a lot of things, and you never know the things that's you know that you're being held back from can push you to different heights if you just if you just conquer it, if you just go at it. So you know, um, I had to I had to continue. <laughs> I had to man. soldier up, baby. I had to soldier up. I feel you. I feel you. I, I'm an ex-combat soldier. I, I know that the first time that I stepped onto the on into the ring, it was into the different. Yeah. yeah, it was it was yeah. life changing. But you know, I made it. I'm here. I retired. Yeah. God I'm bless good. you. Thank, Thank you. you for the service. Well, thanks, needed brother. Um, I did what was you know what was natural for me, I should say. Um, yeah. But the feeling after succeeding was something that you've never tried. You know what I mean? First time right. I did a an obstacle course or went swimming in the ocean, you know, fully clothed with boots on. I'm like, Woo. Lord, let me please let me make it back to this rubber boat. Please. Wow. You know man. what I mean? And it was it was fun. It was exciting. It was thrilling. You know, the the are you normally mm -hmm. uh uh an adrenaline junkie? Not too much of an adrenaline junkie, but I just hate something to beat me i hate to be told no if i want to do something now there's plenty of things that i'm still not going to do i ain't going to grab no snake i ain't going to grab no i'm still not doing stuff like that right but um, the funny thing is i love boats i have have a little uh, uh 30 foot uh stingray okay and i love boats i can go out on the water but i've always had the fear of either either the boat catching on fire or sinking, or yeah. something like that, and I'm in the middle of this water, and I, I can swim, but I can't, you know, hold my breath a long time, and I just don't like the feeling of uh, not having that security. Like, I have, you know, uh, I have a pool, and my kids is always swimming in the pool, but I stay in four feet. <laughs> as long as I can stand up, I'm cool, but if I have to you know, doggy pedal, as we say, <clears throat> and can't feel the bottom. I kind of, I kind of panic. You know what I'm mm. saying? So that was just one of those things that I had to, um, I had to actually uh, get over. And so, you know, it it was something that I don't regret doing. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got through it. And at least now I know how to hold my breath longer. You know, because there were there were a few techniques that was uh given to me and uh i guess i can I, I can say this um uh there was a few techniques uh prior to i mean once i once i got there um i could only hold my breath for like 15 seconds 17 seconds right and so um so then i guess you know he realized he was like oh wow okay <laughs> so so um, he, uh, you know, he was, he was like, listen, I'm, I'm going to try to teach you some uh, techniques. And, I, and he brought his guy in. And um, I ended up being able to hold my breath for a minute, 40 seconds. After about, after about 
uh, hour of training and, and learning how to hold it and um, not be scared and push push through it. When you feel like you got to let it go, you got 10 more seconds in you. You know what I'm saying? When you feel right. like you got to let it go, you, you, you really got 10, 10, 15 more seconds in you. So um, I pushed myself and I got to about 140. That was the highest I got. And so, um, you know, I was proud of myself, but that's still all, all different when you get up under the water. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was outside of the water just holding my breath. But when you get in, in the water and do it, it's this a whole new story. Yeah. The pressure is different. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And being in a confined space combined with, yeah. come on, man. Yes. That was, that was yeah. courageous. Shout yeah. out to you because <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, man. Um, I want to respect your time. Thank you for doing this early. I know well, that uh, you have a lot, a lot going on. A uh, uh, couple more questions. It's Chris Angels, Magic with the Stars. He's going yeah. up against uh, Jeff Timms from Ninety Eight Degrees. It airs yeah. on the CW. Um, man, <laughs> what an amazing show! I got a chance to watch the screener. I can't say nothing. But I enjoyed. I know. Oh, 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 so you did see it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've okay, seen it. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what they told me. So I don't want to, you know. Right. No, I no, no. I didn't want to give it away. So I want. I want to just touch on stuff, but not nah. just. I had fun watching Lonnie Love flirt with you, though. Lonnie, that Lonnie. Person. Oh yeah, yeah, Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. I, I had a ball with that. I'm like, say, you, you're so cute in person. <laughs> I'm like, pull, put the card, open the box, man, open the box. You know? so, that, that was fun. So, what was some of the highlights for you? Uh, what was like the most fun? Well, um, just being a part of the show. Period was fun, man, because I got to live out a. a somewhat of a fantasy and the and and a dream. I really truly love magic, man. I actually back in the days brought some of his um videos or something just to learn how to um levitate. Ah. And so so I, I I was always watching him mind freak on the te- on the street and uh, when he before I think it yeah it was before he got the show but he was doing a lot of the of the show on the street in Vegas. Yeah. So um yeah, I mean I I mean just to have an opportunity to go outside of your your comfort zone and your realm, you know, and be a part of something that you usually wouldn't be a part of. It's a it's a, a it's a blessing for me because it's something that I wanted to do and a lot of people aren't, you know, won't be able to do that or get to do that. Um so I was I was just happy that he called me, talked me into it. And um, you know, it, it was like a dream come true for me. I was I was all excited calling my daughter. And I was like, hey, hey, I'm going on, I'm going on Chris Angel's show. I'm going to because <laughs> everything is still to me. That's what I, I I actually love about how I approach life and just things in general. I never take anything for granted. So it's all fun and 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 it's like I'm just coming out as an artist, uh, you know, when I get to do stuff like that because I wouldn't normally do that. Me going on stage, doing my music and all that. That's the first love. That's how I'm here. That's how I even get the opportunity. And that's the norm for me. But to do something like that, it was truly special. And I thank him for it. Do you recall the first time you stepped on stage as an artist? Did you have the same anxiety as mm. magic? Um, I never had anxiety um, for music, though, because that was always just a part of me. I, I was always dancing, singing, uh, uh, break dancing and doing all that kind of stuff. So now nah, I was more eager or anxious to get on the stage when it came to dancing and singing and performing in front of people like that. But like I said, that's something totally outside of, of the norm for me. So that was more of a nervous uh, thing, even though it was a stage, it wasn't my stage. It's not what I'm used to. I, I demand the stage and, and command the stage, but when it's when it's something that's not music, yeah, that's when your your nerves your nerves get to you, and and, and that had a lot to do with what what happened too. You know, I I, I kind of panicked. Okay, yeah, it's happened. It happened. Mm-hmm. But you're here. We can yes, see. sir. I can imagine. I can. I can. <laughs> look. I can imagine what it's like to be in that. Uh, oh yeah. But I'm not going to do it for real. For real. Yeah, uh, uh, I feel you. I feel I, I you. live vicariously through you and yep. applaud your success. Uh, <laughs> success. 
you know, you've been doing this forever and yeah. I appreciate you for all that you've contributed to the fabric of music and entertainment. Um, you're definitely someone that the youngsters should look up to. You're still out there touring, doing yep. it, um, you know, hitting the stages and providing great entertainment. Um, congratulations on stepping into a new arena. Yes, Hopefully sir. You'll, you'll do something else. Uh, yep. magic, maybe we'll see a genuine magic show. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that'd be fun. That'd be yeah. fun. All right. I man, fun. is there anything you wanted to cover that I may have neglected? I just want to tell everybody, man, um, conquer your fears. Don't be scared of, of, of life, life's obstacles. You know, if you really want to do something, put your mind towards it and, and focus on it and don't never let it beat you. I want to also thank you and everybody else that's been supporting me for the time that I've been out since was uh, 26 years now, came out in 96. And uh, just everybody, please follow me at Genuine on Instagram. All right. That's it. All right. New music coming out? Now, um, I've always looked at it like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, ah. And the way the music is now, man, it's like, it, it's not like it was when we came out. You, you had a song out for months. Now you put a song out, it's here today and gone next week. 15 minutes of fame is really what yeah, it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I'd I, I rather, you know, still ride this. But I, I'm definitely going to come out with something because I try to follow in the footsteps of Frankie Beverly and um, uh, uh, Charlie Wilson. And Charlie is still putting stuff out. So I want to I wanna do that. But I just want to do it at my time. Right now, I don't need to do it. People love the old music, the 90s music. They're coming out. And, and and selling out the arenas with, with a lot of the 90 reviews and all that. I'm leaving this weekend. is me, Case, Donnell Jones, Adina Howard, uh, 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 Bobby Brown. It's a lot of us, man. So um, people love, love those 90s, man, 90s reviews and festivals and stuff. So, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep doing what you're doing, man. That's why I, that's, that's my motto. I man. Okay, spanning the decades, providing entertainment on all kinds of levels. Uh <laughs> Keladina, I said, hey. Uh <laughs> check him out on the new series on the CW series, Chris Angel's Magic with the Stars. Um, we'll have a follow-up listings as to when this episode will air. I'm mm -hmm. really excited for you guys to see it. It's it's a magnificently produced event. Uh genuine. Yes, sir. Um, brings his his unique personality and uh charisma to the show Lonnie Love is crazy uh, yes she is. <laughs> and we, I had a lot of fun watching I know that you will too genuine thank you so much wishing you much continued success in thank all you, that brother. you do until next time thank you brother peace